Hey guys, so I do have a small haul for you. Some of the stuff is from Target, some of the stuff is from Amazon. Not everything got here yet. I do have a few things coming tomorrow, something coming Friday. Um, but I just thought I'd go ahead and show you what I have now because it is quite a bit of stuff. Um, I ordered a lot of books. One of the books I did already show you. I got it at Target. That's this one right here, it is by Lisa Jackson. It's called The Morning After. I am very excited to read this. Also from Target, which I already showed you, is this Mix Bar Glass Rose Scent Hair and Body Spray. I love this stuff so, so much. It's unreal. So I'll go ahead and show you what else I got from Target. This stuff was from today. Um, nothing like super exciting or anything. Um, I did pick up this bag of blue diamond almonds, roasted and salted, because I love a good snack, and these are, I think almonds are heart healthy or something, um, but yeah, I really like these, so I grabbed those, and then got a couple more of the white chocolate Reese's eggs, because they're the best. And then I got this deodorant. This is actually my favorite deodorant. It has no aluminum in it. It smells really good. Um, it is Love, Beauty, and Planet. I get the scent... Uh, Murmur... Murum, Mura Butter and Rose. I don't really know how to say that. Um, but I have to kind of switch in between this and Suave because when I use this one, like a lot. It makes my underarms itch. I don't know if I'm allergic to something that's in it, but I'm fine for a while when I use it, but when I use it for too long, I start to itch. So then I go back to Suave, even though I know that has aluminum in it. It's just, it doesn't irritate my skin. So when I'm not using this, I just use Suave or Dove or one of the cheaper brands, but this one is my favorite um, deodorant without aluminum in it. I haven't tried any of the other scents because I like this one so much. And then I saw this notebook. I know. I, I have a notebook obsession and I don't understand it, but this was so cute. Um, it says, go get them, tiger. And it has all these tigers on there and the stripes on the tigers are like really fuzzy. And it's just like this really nice lined notebook but it's like nice and thin too so if I wanted to stick this in my purse and take it with me I could um I like this size it's perfect it's not too short it's not too big and wide and bulky um perfect size notebook here so that's oh no last thing from Target so I've been wanting to start doing puzzles like later at night when I have some me time because it'll help stimulate my brain, it'll give me something to do, and I do love doing puzzles. So I came across this one, and I went to scan it on one of the little scanners throughout the stores, and it just said like zero dollars, it had no price. So I went to the self-checkout, and I thought that a price would pop up as I scanned it on the self-checkout thing, and it didn't. So I called an attendant over, and he said, well, unfortunately, this puzzle isn't in our inventory anymore, you know, how much do you think the puzzle is worth? And I said that it was around a bunch of other puzzles that were around seven or eight ninety nine. And he said, well, I think it's worth less than that. So he gave me this puzzle for two ninety nine. It was so nice of him. But it's a seven hundred and fifty nine piece puzzle. Um and it's an escape puzzle. So for one, I just thought the picture was really pretty. You know, there's a unicorn in this really pretty forest with mushrooms and flowers and butterflies. And it says, it's a Ravensburger puzzle. So it says, read the story, assemble puzzle and reveal riddles, solve riddles and piece together your escape. So I just thought that sounded so cool. So it's not even just like a regular puzzle. Like you're trying to figure things out as you're putting the puzzle together. Um, and apparently there are different ones with different scenes, which all look really cool, but I actually think I like the one with the unicorn more. This is the only one like this that I saw. Uh, I didn't see any more. Again, they said they didn't have any more of it in their inventory, so maybe it's just something they were getting rid of because they weren't selling any of it, but 
I got it for a really good deal, so I'm excited about that. Okay, so um, a few more books that I got from Amazon. I got now the two books I'm about to show you, I really thought were going to be thicker, longer books, but they're actually very short. I could probably read both of these books in an hour. Um, this one is Profiling the Scariest 21st Century Serial Killers, the North American Boogeyman. Look how thin that is. Like, I really thought it would be a thicker book. This one, I don't even think is like 100 pages. It is only 97 pages. So I could read this literally in an hour, but still, I thought it would be a good read. I love a good true crime book. This one I also thought would be longer. It is longer than the Boogeyman one, but this one just intrigued me. It sounded really interesting. Um, so it's called Buried Beneath the Boarding House by Ryan Green. Again, it's really thin. Um, and it says that it's a shocking true story of deception, exploitation, and murder. Um, and this one has... 147 pages but still like these two books are so short like from what I thought they would be I could probably read them both in an hour if I wanted to read both of them back to back maybe two hours that's simple as that all right and then I got this it's a dreamer's journal now what I originally thought this was was an actual dream interpretation book like I thought the whole book was you know, gonna help me try to interpret what, like, a lot of my dreams mean, because I do dream a lot. Um, it does have, um, stuff like that in here, though, like, symbol, like, you know, what certain symbols you see in your dreams mean, and, like, it'll tell you what it means, um, and it goes through all the letters of the alphabet, and then... It says interiors of the home. So like if you're dreaming about um, a window, it says clarity, awareness of limitations, looking within or outside. I don't know, stuff like that. It is a little bit different than I thought, but um, it's still pretty cool though because once you get past all of that stuff, you can actually, there's room, it's an actual journal as well to document your dreams and I used to write my dreams down all the time when I was younger, like back when I was in like middle and high school, I wrote down every dream that I had because I just thought it was cool to go back and read. It's like reading a story because, you know, dreams are like so out there. So I'm actually really excited about this. I want to read, you know, I want to go through and read what certain things mean and it's not like in-depth descriptions though like I thought so I still want to get a dream dictionary with more in-depth descriptions of like what certain things mean but I'm glad that I got this because now I have some more to document all of the dreams that I have because I do like remembering my dreams and um, especially the good ones. Not that I really haven't have had any like really good ones lately, but if I ever have any good ones with my dad or my grandma or something, you know, it'd be really great to be able to write that down and always go back and read about it. This I am like ridiculously excited about because I'm a total nerd, but I got another coloring book, but it's not just any coloring book. It's an Animal Crossing coloring book. Oh my god, it is so freaking cute. Like, let me just show you. Oh my god. I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find a page with, like, villagers... You guys might recognize because if you don't play the game you won't really understand the big deal about this this I think is cute because there's just like a little male villager here and then here's Kix Kix comes to your island um, every so often throughout the week and he sells you know clothing items and stuff to you he's one of my favorite NPCs he's a cute little skunk he's like seriously one of the cutest um, and then this one has the dodo that, you know, the little bird that takes care of the airport. 
Flick, the guy that you sell bugs to, and Celeste. So I don't know, I'm just so excited to color all of these. And what I like is like each page has, it's blacked out on the back. So if you're coloring with marker, it won't ruin the next page underneath it because all of the pages are blacked out on the back. So I'm really happy about that. Um, okay, and then I also, well, I'll share this first. I got another product from W7 because I saw this. I hadn't seen it before, and I've told you guys W7 is extremely inexpensive makeup, and I know I still have to try that W7 palette I got before, but this one drew me in because there's several mattes, several shimmers, but this could be used with that other palette as well because these are more neutral colors. But this is the W7 Very Vegan All Natural Eyeshadow Palette. Well, here's what packaging looks like. It's really cute. And then here are all the shades. I think they're so pretty. And I just couldn't not get it because it was so inexpensive. Literally, their, their stuff is like five dollars and under it's amazing and the quality is really good for what you pay for it um okay i also got a purse shocker there i know um you guys might not like this purse though it's very different it's not something i would typically buy but i just really liked it i think it's really cute um it is a nylon purse kind of like my bagalini um but i'll just show you so it has like little planets and stars and I don't know, I just thought it was really cute and different. It has this really nice, long, wide, deep pocket in the back that I could put my phone in or my keys or my masks. It has these two pockets right here that have a snap closure. It has this tiny little zippered pocket right here. It's not very deep, so I don't know what you would necessarily keep right there. It has the two handles right here. It can be crossbody or you can carry it on your shoulder. And then the inside is gray and you have a zippered pocket and two slip pockets and it's very, very roomy. So I know the last purse video I did, I switched to my Bagalini. Well, I already switched purses again. I'm so indecisive with purses lately. I don't know what my problem is. I just like, I put stuff in a purse and then I'm like, no, that's not the purse I want to use. So I've been using this, uh, not Michael Kors, this uh, Steve Madden again because I just love this purse so freaking much. But I think um, once I'm done using this after a little while, I am going to switch to my little space bag because I just think this is so cute. And I always have been fascinated with space and all of that ever since I was a kid learning about it in school. Like, I'm obsessed with my NASA shirt. Um, I Mars was always my favorite planet. I always just thought it was beautiful. And I don't know. So I just thought this was really cute. A lot of you may not think it's, you know, your cup of tea, but I think it's cute and it's different. And it'll hold a lot of my stuff. It's everything I want. It has handles. It can be crossbody. It could just be carried on your shoulder. But yeah. So just been carrying this. And for some reason, this feels really heavy. I don't know what could possibly be in here making it so heavy right now. But while I have you guys here, maybe I will do a quick clean out of my purse. Because it probably needs it. So my masks... Are right on top oh I had these headbands on earlier and I started getting a really bad headache and I didn't know why and when I took these off the headache went away these are just so so tight they're way too tight for my head which is crazy because I have a tiny head um, all right I have my back to wipes in here and my pill container um, yeah, see, I have a crumpled up list from Target in here I needed to get rid of. Um, oh, we got chimneys for lunch again today, so another receipt from there. I probably don't even have to take everything out of my purse. I'm just trying to make it less messy. 
And I think, wait, what's this? All right, that is just my pen. And you know what? I'm going to stick those in there. And I don't know if I told you guys, I ended up putting this spray in my purse for now. Um, as much as I would love to keep one of the Mix Bar sprays that I love very much in my purse, the caps do not stay on at all. I mean, like, they just fall right off. So I'm afraid if I had this in my purse, my stuff would get all wet and it could leak. So I just use those at home. This is one of the ones I got from Dollar Tree, and it smells amazing it is the bath and beauty pure attraction melon and plum silkening body mist and i swear i need to ask my sister if she uses this as well because i swear anytime i'm near her like i smell this scent on her and it smells amazing and some people might think just because it's from dollar tree it's not going to be that good but seriously this smells amazing do not go and buy all of these and sell it out because i really want to go get more i did get another scent and i like it but i like this one so much more so next time i do go to dollar tree i honestly want to get one or two more of these just to have on hand so this is the scent i am keeping in my purse right now and i don't know if i showed you guys i did start using my cute little cactus case for my sunglasses it's just so adorable i know i got a cute ice cream one or it was like summery treats or something last year from dollar tree but it got misplaced during my move so but i really like the cactus one so yeah, my purse didn't really need it to be super cleaned out, but yeah, I am using this purse right now. There's nothing in this front pocket at the moment. Usually I just throw my phone in this front pocket, but for now I have my Bactiv wipes in there. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just love this purse so much. This is one of the purses that I will never sell because I love it so much. And I actually was looking through all of my Amazon stuff earlier and this purse is not available anymore. That pink purse I recently switched from that you all really love is not available right now. And that other purse that every single person wants, that really cute little like gray with like the little teal color on it, still not available. And I'm really hoping they bring them back because so many people ask me to link it and I feel bad linking it when it's just going to take them to, uh, you know, this product is unavailable right now. And uh, I just want them to bring out certain products back so that you guys can also get them. I feel like it's so unfair, but this is my baby. I love this purse so much. I feel like it's so high end. I mean, I know Steve Madden isn't like super cheap or anything, but he's also not like Kate Spade or anything. But I just feel like it's a really pretty cute and classy purse that goes well with anything because it's just black and white. But I will definitely be giving this purse a go really soon. And again, I have a few more things coming in the next few days. I just didn't want to wait. I wanted to show you guys all of this stuff because otherwise the haul would have just been really big. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put more Young and Hungry on TV and actually get ready for bed. Maybe I'll color a little bit or maybe I'll read or I'll figure something out. But I want to go to bed early. I was up really late last night, like till 4 a.m., don't want to do that again. So I'm going to go, but I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.